Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Star Spinner Tarot by Trungles. Trungles. Get a little closer, you can read it. Support or um, there is a website for this, chroniclebooks.com. It's right up there. So if you want to find that information or you want to search it out, you can do that. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I didn't see a website on this one. But if you look her up, I'm sure you'll find what you want to find. Alright, what do we have for Aries? That's a lot. We've got a hole. What's up with that? Alright, we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, so I think you're coming up to a wall. Um, and I think this might be about what it takes to get past this wall. Now, there's in the environment, you got the cornucopia. There's a lot here to be desired. There's a lot of good here in the environment. On your side, you have the door to personal healing and happiness. So it's kind of like, all right, I see things are going well over there. I see that that's going well. How do I get myself into that type of energy? I don't think you're looking to take anything from anyone, but you're like, I want something like that for me too. So what do I need to do to change my situation, my landscape, to make it look more like that? Because actually, that's I think that's what I want. Um, and there is anxiety here because it does seem like there's a lot there. It's almost like if you're working for yourself, well, or you want to work for yourself and you're like, okay, I know I want to work for myself, but what do I need to do to make that happen? And do I need money to do that? Do I have to save up money? Do I have to apply for some type of grant? Like, what do I need to do to make this business that I want to happen happen? Um, it might be something like that. Now, I'm getting... The Empress comes in in the environment, too, with the cornucopia. And I feel like somebody's giving you information about how they created this cornucopia, this, which is, to me, a lot of abundance, beautiful, delicious, a lot of bounty. But the cornucopia, even though there's a lot of bounty there, I personally, when I feel this card here, um, it's filled with a lot of, like, produce, right? Which basically means it doesn't just sit there forever. It's got to be utilized at, at the right moment. It's got to be taken care of at the right time. You know, even like whatever produce you got, you can only put it outside or you, you can only have it for so long before it's going to go rotten. I mean, even if you freeze it, I think it degrades after a certain point of, point of time, not for nothing. It'll just lose its value. It may technically be able to defrost it, but it won't be of any food value really from what I understand. It, like it degrades the food. Anyway... Basically, it's saying, this this person is telling you, yeah, that's there, but you got to move on it at the right time. You can't just wait, and it'll just be there waiting for you. you got to know the right time to move forward. This is not something that can just, you can just claim it when you want it. you got to move at the right time. I keep saying that. This is why this card pops up. Because there's an opportunity here, but it's kind of like, do I have the resources to grab this right now? And if I start accumulating the resources to grab it later, will it still be there later? Or could I get all my savings and ducks in a row, whatever you want to say, but by the time I'm ready, it's moved on. That's the MB card. Kind of like this is on a, this is like not always going to be available. It's like it's available now, but can I grab it? Um I do feel like when it comes to this situation, whoever you're talking to would like to see you have this, but they're kind of like, I'm leaving it up to you. They got the woman holding a heart with the walking away. They're giving you only so much. They're like, I'll tell you what I know. I'll tell you what you could try to do, but it's up to you to do it on your own. Um, when it says walking away on its side, I mean, the two of these, like, they're only going to give so much. 
they're not going to actually do it for you. They're not going to give you the money to make it happen. They'll give you advice and ideas on what you could do, but they're kind of like that. You have to do it on your own. They also have the Knight of Wands. This energy doesn't stick around for very long. It's kind of just like here today, gone tomorrow. I'll tell you what I know. I'll give you some ideas. I'll even, you know, help you start your plan. Start your plan if you want me to. But that's it. Then they're gone. Especially with the Knight of Wands connecting these two. It is a good energy. It is a nice energy. But it's kind of like it's not here permanently. It's it's just a temporary movement forward. Even if they're const even if they're still around afterwards, this moment of giving does not last forever. Um I do feel like there's like some type of financial connection here. Because in the center, I'm going to do your cards last on the end here, but the next part that's right a part of the right right next to this is like the other person, wh whoever you're getting this information from, they don't want to be overly connected to you. And you would like that is what I'm getting. They're not negative towards you. But they're kind of like you're gonna to have to do that on your own. I can't. I can't help you with that. I'll tell you what. I've, what I've told you is all you're gonna get from me. I'll help you start start your plan. But I feel like that's it. They're just gonna help you start the plan. But then, that's pretty much it. And then it's up to you to create the rest of it on your own. They maybe they pointed you in the right direction. They helped you start the plan. But it's kind of like well, the books over in that part of the library. I would I would use those books. I gotta go. Best of luck with you. And they they're out. They're kind of like, nope, nope, I can't be overly involved, and boom, they're gone. Um, when that's over, you do have, a, like, it's kind of like you're questioning, like, do I have enough to really make this work? Is this really going to be enough to make it move forward? And you're kind of like, I feel like I'm lacking. I feel like I didn't get everything I wanted to here. Um, and I'm wondering if, like, should I just leave it where it is and move on? It seems like it's really good, but should I leave it there and just, like, let it be because it is under like some type of time constraint you know I mean something like that it's only available at certain times again with that cornucopia like this is not this isn't going to happen all year round it's kind of like when things are in season and when things are come to fruition or bloom or you know ripen ripen that's the best word to use but i'm getting like this is hard for you to not keep going with it i do feel like you connect to other people the initial person is out. They're not going to hang out. But I do feel like you find other support here. Caring connections with the rest of rejuvenation. You, can see, you can't seem to do this right now. Like right now, it's just not lining up for me. I can't do this right now. But you want it. King of Cups, you're like, yeah, but I want it. I need to have this. This is for me. And you're kind of feeling that way. Like, oh, this is for me. I really want this. What do I need to do to make it happen? You seem to be gravitating around other people who are in the same mindset. Could be other people who are also doing this or want to do this, whatever this is. And I'm getting like this is really helping you realign yourself, helping you kind of pull back, adjust the plan and kind of like, I'm not giving up. I want this. I need this to happen. Um, and you're not willing to let it go. You're making this pact more than likely with yourself. There could be some legal connections with this, with the contract. You're setting off kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to get that cornucopia but I'm, I'm not going to just, I'm not going to just like walk away from it and be like, oh, well, who knows? I feel like you're kind of invested in this and you're like, I have to try. I just don't want to look back and be like, oh, if I had just put in the effort, this could have been great. I have to try. This is like worth the gamble for you. The payoff is so great that you want this. You're setting off to make this happen. For a lot of you, I do feel like it's a contract with yourself, like you're committed to this. I'm seeing this through. I'm going to make this happen. Could be some legal contract you're signing. You know if that's true or not. It's a general read, you know. The outcome. The outcome. I do think it's going to be great. You're going to have to mold to the situation a little bit. It's going to evolve as it goes forward. Um, I would say you have some opposing energies here that you're going to come up with. The Hierophant sometimes talks about Taurus. This is just talking about an energy. The Balance card, I, I get the scales from that when they get Balance, and a lot of times I think of Libra when this card comes out right here. 
these are energies that aren't necessarily compatible with Aries just in a raw sense. Um, Libra is kind of like you got to negotiate, you got to play politics. It's not always about liking what you have to do, but doing what you need to do to get where you want to be. Sometimes that's schmoozing people and letting people believe things that necessarily you don't really want them to know or kind of like getting along with people maybe you don't like, something like that. The Hierophant is telling me whatever contracts are made, you're going to have to adhere to them to get that success. So it's kind of like the success you have before you is worth the work, but it's definitely you're going to have to bend a, a lot more than you want to. You're going to have to, you know, let people do what they want to do in, in certain occasions and not call it out, which that's... Aries doesn't usually put up with that. Like, if somebody's doing some BS, Aries doesn't usually let that fly. Kind of like, no, I'm not going to let that go by. To get the success out of here, to get where you really want to be, you're going to have to learn to let people just be. Um, you're going to come across a lot of people who do that lying by omission a lot. And Aries is not a fan of that from what I've seen. You're going to know what's happening and you're going to have to let it be to get that success you want. And it's going to become a habit. Um, you have to ask yourself if this is worth it. Because I feel like the outcome may be worth it. It's not so bad where you constantly have to do with it, deal with it. But it happens enough to where it aggravates you. And you're realizing, I have, to let it, I have to let it be if I want the success. That's a lot. That's not comfortable for Aries. Aries doesn't put up with BS. They just don't. It's a part of the... I feel like when they get these two things, like there's something, there's like rules that come together. It's almost like you have an investor or something that you really don't get along with, but they're, they're pivotal to you having enough funds to do what you need to do. And you're like, I can't make an enemy of them. I can't call them out. You just flat out can't call them out because if you call them out, you're going to make an enemy. And you're like, this, I can't make this person an enemy. And you're like, I got to put up with some stuff. It's up to you whether that's going to be acceptable or not, but I feel like you can have your goal. You can get your payoff on this situation. That's what it's going to cost you because it's going to be like you're going to have to put up with it. There's going to be that balance, but you're, and it's going to be constant. It's going to be constant, consistent. All right, so I made my point. You're going to decide whether that's right for you or not. I feel like they're just giving you a heads up about what you're heading towards to make this happen. And if, especially if there's a contract coming in and you're signing to something, that's kind of like the terms of the contract. They're trying to let you know about that before you get into it. So you can decide whether that's a yes or a no. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.